Okay, so today we're going to be running the overhead, setting a valve on the C18, 630 horsepower WRH prefix Caterpillar engine. We had, um, you'll see the transmission missing. Brought this thing in to rebuild the Allison 6061 transmission. It got glycol contaminated, but I was here. They wanted us to run the overhead. So that's what we're going to do. Um, if you watch this video, guys, there at the end, I'll give you a tool list and, um, Give you the time in sequence for this. It may not be the same for all C18s, but if you got a WRH prefix that you're doing, you can do it. Plus, okay, so what I'm doing in this step is, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got the valve lash sequence pulled up. It's just a straight six, so it's pretty cut and dry. But what I like to do is, I know I'm on the comp compression stroke. Oh, shit. Well, Blooper. First things first, I gotta get that thing out of there. All right, let's try this again. Since I dropped the cap to the paint pen in there. So I don't know if you can see the white marks from up there or not where I got the camera set, but somebody's been in here and done this already once before. But I got a yellow. So what I'm gonna do is go through here on the compression stroke and mark all the valves and injectors that I'm gonna have to adjust. So what I'm going to do is just put a dot on them for right now, a good yellow dot, and then I'll draw a line after I adjust them. So for the intake valves, it's going to be one, two, and four. We got one, two, three, four. And then exhaust will be one, three, and five. So cylinder one, cylinder three, and cylinder five. So for injectors, I gotta find that real quick. That's my exhaust stroke. Here's my injectors. So with it on the compression, it looks like three, five, and six, which I've got a tool that goes on, a height gauge tool that you'll use for that. Um, making sure we're finding top dates in here and the compression strokes. So, yep, three, five, and six. So we got one, two, three. Five and six. So the intake valves are fifteen thousandths. The exhaust valves are thirty thousandths. And then I use a high gauge on the injectors. So what I'm going to go through here and do next is all these ones that are marked. I'm going to go ahead and break the jam nuts loose. Injectors, I'm not going to break the jam nuts loose unless I have to adjust them. We'll see what the high gauge tells me. And we'll go from there. So let me get these things broke loose. I'll speed up the video a little bit and then get back with you when we start adjusting. Okay, so this is the height gauge tool here. When it's in adjustment. Uh-oh, she's acting a little stuck there. When it's in adjustment, it'll be flush. So if it's down or up, you need to need to adjust. So I think I'm gonna run through and check these injectors first, just to get that out of the way. So we'll start with number three. guys so I've got the height gauge on there and I don't know how how well you're able to see that but that is pretty flush if you look down on the injectors you'll see a little flat shoulder down there that's where you got to put the step on like I said I'm not going to adjust the injectors unless they need it See that popping or not she's pretty flush so we're gonna call that one good and then for the last one okay I either missed or it's out of way adjustment but I think I missed so I'm gonna set the camera back up here where I can see a little better may have to adjust that one, but I need to make sure I'm on the step. Oop. 
gonna let it that out if we got to. Okay, so it does look like I missed the step. Make sure that moves nice and free. Down here where I can see what I'm doing. Put on the step, and she is flush, so we're good. We're not going to do the injectors, at least not on the compression stroke. So like I said, I'll go in here and make a longer line. That way, I know they've been checked, and there's no doubt in myself once I get to the end. So, now we'll go to checking the intake valve. the number one intake you see I got the right angle feeler gauges kind of wiggle the rocker arm make sure that uh get your feeler gauge under there a lot of times they'll stick with the oil so we're gonna go ahead and back this one out and get ourselves a little bit of room it's 15,000 it's pretty tight and we'll start the adjustment setting these you want to feel a little resistance not a lot but you don't want a lot of slack in it either generally I'll push back on the rocker arm or a little bit sure I got the clearance and I think I can live with that so you want to hold back up on the adjustment screw here while you tighten like the feel of that one we're gonna call that good I'm gonna give it one more tug tighten her up feels pretty tight to me feels good we're gonna call that one done go ahead and stick I know that one's finished so that's the intake valve that's 15 thousandths these exhausts are set at 30 thousandths well, the same thing get the feeler gauge slider under there that one's feeling pretty tight it's going but so I'll back that off a little bit because it did that's feel a little tight to me get it in there in a nice spot where I'm not hitting anything I'll go to start adjusting Right there. Let's get resistance. We'll tighten this guy. Double check it, make sure I didn't crank down too tight. Which I did. So now we'll have to loosen that up a little bit. Get the adjustment just right. You don't want the exhaust valves too tight. Let's try this again. Okay. It's got about the right amount of drag for my liking. I think I might be able to get a decent camera angle for you guys and see what I'm doing. Let me try that. See that there? 
you just want some drag on it. You don't want it to be stuck, but you don't want it to be too tight either. It's got a good amount of drag, so I'm going to tighten it down a little more. We'll check it again and call her good. I can live with that. Okay. So we'll give that one a mark. No, we're good there. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the compression stroke sequence. Get these things set. I'll probably speed the video up. Same concept for every intake valve and exhaust valve. So your intakes are closest to the front of the engine, your exhaust ports. Line up with your exhaust manifold, best way I can explain it to you. So, like I said, I'm going to run through the sequence. I'll speed the video up. I'll show you how to time this engine, and then once I roll it over to the exhaust stroke, it's basically the same thing. I'll go through whatever ones don't have the yellow marks. I know have to be adjusted. Once I adjust them, I'll make the mark. You know they're done. By the time I finished, every one of them will have a yellow mark on it. And then uh, it's ready to go. All right, so we've uh, we've got this thing already ran um, in your number one top dead center compression stroke. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put a mark, a paint pen mark on this flex plate flywheel, and I got to spin it 360 degrees. The way I accomplish that is I've got this turning tool right here and bolts to the engine and the slides in there's several different configurations of this thing that you can get and once you get it timed this bolt here will lock into the flywheel so instead of sitting here having to hold the bolt i'll put that paint mark on there so i can just turn it get it close and then stick the bolt in and once i get close to the exhaust stroke it'll slide in a lot easier than having to be bent over and do that the full time so i'm not going to film me doing the exhaust stroke is exactly the same as the compression just different cylinders um okay so i got all of them done <clears throat> so you can see the yellow marks i didn't do the exhaust stroke didn't film that for you guys it's the same as a as a compression stroke way to tell once you get this engine timed and pinned like i showed down there is if you're number six cylinder valves are closed then you're on the exhaust stroke number one you're on the compression stroke easiest way to tell so it doesn't take a whole lot of tools to do this guys this is what i had to have seven eighths nine sixteenths wrench quarter inch for the uh adjusters on the injectors i think that's a five sixteen or three sixteenths for the valves you got to get your height gauge this thing should have a plastic strap here it broke off I think I actually bought that off of Amazon. I'll drop a link for that. That'll be the one oddball. <laughs> then you gotta have 30 thousandths feeler gauges for your exhaust and a 15 thousandths for your uh, intake valves. And that's pretty much it. Have a socket to get your uh, valve covers off of there. But that's that, guys. The overhead has been ran. Injectors and valves on the C18 
think this 630 horsepower WRH uh, prefix, if that helps. Um, that's that. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope this helped. Um, be sure to subscribe if, if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks. Oh, well. Wow.